So in this snippet, we're going to talk about the uh, the rotate tool. Now you know, um, having used the rotate tool, if you've been using the exercises or following the exercises up till now, you'll know that you can rotate an object, and that you'll also know that uh, you can do it in any of the axes, so red, green, blue, and you'll also know that the place where you click first is going to be your center of rotation. So I want to take this component that I've already made and I want to rotate it around the origin where all the uh, where all the axes meet. Now you can define your center as being anywhere basically as long as it's a, uh, an accurately defined point um, but I'm going to use the origin just to, sh just to show you. So first thing I need to do is check that the center of this part is lined up with my origin so I'm going to just have a zoom in and look really closely and now you can see actually that the that this edge is actually on the red axis. So that's actually not, not what I want. What I want is for the middle of this to be on the red axis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my component and I'm going to create a guideline which is actually at the very middle of the, of the part. So I'm going to take a guideline from here and I'm going to snap it onto the midpoint here which is 10 millimeters in, so the thickness there is 20. Okay, that should help me. So now I have, as part of that component, you can see that the guideline itself is part of the component now, because I double clicked before I put it in, so I was actually putting it in the component. So that now helps me to actually snap and move this up to the origin. So I'm going to take my move tool and I'm going to pick it up at that intersection and drag it along until it snaps onto the origin. So now what I've done is I've moved the very center of my part until it lines up perfectly along that axis with my origin. So now I've got that correctly positioned I can double click on here and I can get rid of that guideline because I don't need it anymore. I also have a guideline here that I don't really need so I'll get rid of that. And now I have this part perfectly lined up with the origin. Now you're going to have to have yours perfectly lined up with the center point, whichever it happens to be. And now I can just take my rotate tool and start working. So rotate tool. And you know already that you can rotate this. But what you might not know is that just like with the move tool, if you hit the option key on your keyboard, you can also rotate and make a copy at the same time. Now, first example I'm going to show you is um, uh, I'm going to type 270 in here. And then what I can also do, just like with the move tool as well, is I can make a number of copies in between the original and the copy that I just made. So in this case, I want a total of three copies and they're going to be evenly spaced, so that means they're each going to be 90 degrees around, so around the center. So forward slash three gives me then that. So I now have my original. I have the one that I copied, which is a 270, a 270 degree rotation around that origin. And then I've typed forward slash three to make three copies in total. One here, one here, and one here. And because they're evenly spaced, I know this is at 90 degrees, this is at 180 degrees, this is at 270 degrees. Now, that's just one example. You don't have to do only that. If I go back a step or two, I can make a, a more extreme example, let's say, and I'm going to take again my move tool, snap on my center, and then hit my option key and drag out. And this time I'm going to move it around to my angle, I'm going to type actually 350 degrees, so it's all the way around nearly to the uh, same point as it started at, except it's 10 degrees off. And I'm going to make a total this time of 35 copies, so forward slash 35. Now what that's going to do is it's going to create 36 copies in total of the component and they're spread out at ten, equal 10 degree intervals. So this is ideal if you want to, for example, if you were designing some piece of architecture or a cool lamp or something like that. And the added bonus of this actually is that now you have all of these 
copied components, if you do make components, and I highly recommend that you do, if you do make components, as you know, you have lots of copies of the same component. If you edit one, all of the copies change. So, for example, if I was to take that one line, for example, there, drag it out, you can see what it does. All of the other components change with it because they're all copies of the same component. And this is a very nice, quick way if you were designing something with all these identical rotated parts. It's a very nice way in which you could play around with your design and try out different options. Okay, there you have it. That's the uh, using the rotate tool to make many copies of the same part.